Hi everybody, Robert Dyer and welcome, welcome to the Robert Dyer channel where I have here a very special selection of candies from 7-Eleven. They have a special licensing deal with the Detective Pikachu movie and today I'm reviewing the first of three different candy bars they have related to the movie and today I'll be trying the Detective Pikachu Bolton Banana Milk Chocolate and if this is a success if it gets enough views and likes and comments I also have the Psyduck Psyched Up Orange Milk Chocolate and the Snubble Roaring Raspberry Pink Confection. But because I'm not uh, Sean Penn after a nuclear accident wearing sunglasses like Casey Neistat, I can't waste food, so we're going to try one bar at a time. But let's go ahead and you can see the packaging here. It's pretty basic. The, uh, besides the photo of the character and the movie logo, and then you have this fancy gold leaf effect on there. Just gonna rip this open. I'm wondering what color the actual candy bar will be. And we remove the. Uh, so it is a standard chocolate color. And there's no, does not appear to be any, nothing Pikachu or otherwise imprinted on the bar itself. Like some random chocolate swirls on the back. The aroma is definitely milk chocolate. I smell no banana or whatever the Bolton part is. John Bolton, Michael Bolton. Let's go ahead and see how it tastes. Mm. So you have this stiff outer milk chocolate like a standard chocolate bar and then an explosion of this Pikachu colored banana cream it's almost like a banana pudding inside of the chocolate bar I hope you can see it I'm here in Omaha, Nebraska at the Motel 2. 2? God, it gets worse. This motel is so bad, even the roaches have bed bug bites. I'm pretty sure this bed spread hasn't been changed since the Nixon administration. Bob, you and I both know from experience that when it comes to women, there are plenty of fish in the sea. Unfortunately, most of them are cold fish, but I think we'll be getting some hot photos sliding into our DMs tonight with these Detective Pikachu candy bars. The girls are crazy about them. I may just stick one in my back pocket when I'm trolling for hot babes on Farnham Street or at the Crossroads Mall. You want to go to room 27 at the Motel 2 and pretend I'm Luke Walton with candy bars? Or do you want to spend the rest of your life answering the phones at Nebraska Furniture Mart? No more, Mr. Nice Guy. No more, Mr. Nice Guy. Woo! Well, I have to say this is a surprisingly good chocolate bar. It's got a pretty good milk chocolate flavor. Not quite like a Hershey bar, but 
I'd say it's much better than you usually get in some kind of a licensed character product like this. And then you have the banana in there. It's I think we haven't really seen anything like this since those wonderful Elvis Reese's peanut butter cups a few years ago. I don't know why they got rid of those, but I think Elvis would probably keep a few of these in his pocket or on his nightstand with the TV glasses and his gun. So I'm going to go ahead and, uh, you know, it seems like they have some kind of a Jacques Pepin working in 7-Eleven now, cranking these out. I'm going to go ahead and give this, uh, I would like a little more packaging or something collectible in here considering the nature of the original product they're licensing but aside from that I'm going to give the actual candy bar five stars and if we get enough views here if everybody shares this video comments likes subscribes then I may be able to review these other two exciting detective Pikachu candy bars Hope you like this video, share it with your friends, please subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye everybody.